what is happening boys and girls great to see you back at the channel and today coming right up right now i can't even open my eyes this is absolutely squeaky bomb time in the Premier League. Let me just update you guys on the situation. Three matches to go. Arsenal, Tottenham, Man United. We need six points from those th three matches. So two wins basically. Two win the title. Well, even maybe that is not mathematically enough. But I'm pretty sure if we get two out of three wins, we should win the title. There you can see Spurs, Man City have a game in hand on us but we still have a very decent cushion in front and oh i can't oh, I don't, I, I've, I've been putting this episode off i just don't want to do it because it's so huge this could be it's all on the line everything we stand for is on the line right now so oh, i'm not sure i'm not sure if i can take the heat i might need to get out of the kitchen but of course we're not going to do that we're going to get straight into this first match against the Arsenal and look at some of those players they have Immobile, Aubameyang, Erdegaard, Salai, Torreira, Chaka, Canate at left back a few weird positionings but that's not gonna not gonna bother me too much are we gonna need to strengthen our bench maybe I think we might just need to do that so I'm feeling that we're gonna take Greenwood off the bench purely because Gelhart has that plus five giving him 80 a uh, 78 sorry he only has the plus one and Harrison could just give us that extra that bit of something extra that extra bit of XP as well and our team is looking strong as always I'm tempted to put Robin Koch at right back instead of Kyle Walker but maybe I should back the experience of Kyle Walker in this really high pressured situation Ivan Melier now on 87 overall we've got such a good team we have a good enough team to win this title we've just got to hold our nerve now so let's get into that match shall we oh here we go here we go underway at Elland Road <sighs> I think we got, got the win in the earlier fixture. We have had a pretty good record against Arsenal so far in this series. Especially Obam uh, not Aubameyang. Um, when we had Lacazette, he absolutely destroyed Arsenal on a couple of occasions. But Rafinha inside now finds Ossiman who takes the shot. And oh my day, somehow, somehow... He's managed to not get it on target. Unbelievable scenes here at Ellen Road. Oh, 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 oh. Luis Diaz makes it 1-0. That was almost too easy, mate. We just basically strolled through their defence like it was a Friday night on the town. Unbelievable play from Luis Diaz. The new signing this season. He's maybe not had the, the impact in his first season that he would have liked but he comes up with a crucial moment for the Leeds faithful in the crowd they are buzzing with that finish you know what uh, Mikel Arteta is probably not buzzing with that defending from Arsenal it was atrocious oh he's off he's off he finds Rafinha around the outside. Okay, I'm liking the look of this. Can he get a nice cross in? He can as well. Oh, so close to Luis Diaz, who was nearly in for his double. But someone in that Arsenal back line just saves them. But Ossiemen's there now. And Leno makes the save. So close, so close yet so far to putting this game even further away from Arsenal's reach. And that was... If that was going in, it was going right in the side netting. Martin Erdegaard. Salai. Oh, tries to get around Kyle Walker, but he doesn't have the pace. The old dog, Kyle Walker, he shows he's still got all the tricks. Can we just find something now? Donny van der Beek gets it out wide to Rafinha. Osimen gives it back. Rafinha looking for van der Beek in the middle. Good looking ball. White is there, though. Calvin Phillips takes it down. Oh, can he do this? Can he do it? It goes in. What a finish from Captain Phillips. Undeniable brilliance there from our number 23. One of the OG lads. He's now captain of the club. And he comes 
to the party just at the perfect moment. One could even say it's it's fashionably late because uh, <laughs> we had to work a little bit for that second goal, but it came and that's all that matters in the end. It's so perfectly placed. Leno, despite the fact he's stationed at that near post, still can't reach it. And that is a two goal advantage for us now, just before half time, seizing the initiative and surely we are in control of this match now oh ball through can kyle walker get there oh, salai outpaces him he's got to get back arsenal looking to go on the counter attack and he can't keep up beautifully done that's why we played kyle walker for the experience now we get it in behind to rafinha who has those younger legs he comes inside he keeps going he takes the finesse oh okay but Osimhen wins it. Oh, Diaz takes it on the sort of bicycle kick. Leno makes a, a pretty decent save. That is an outstanding effort there. Diaz, he's just found his mojo today. Literally unbelievable. So, 70 minutes in. We are just making our changes. No need to take any risks now. We're taking our big guns off to make sure no silly injuries or anything like that can occur. And we've got some very fine players to come in and fill the gaps so okay we just got to be sensible here oh Turam look at all this space look at all this space he's got to make it three. Oh, he does I love this boy I love this boy he just scores so much for a DM and his finishing is just lethal just lethal I'll tell you what's lethal what is that celebration it's absolutely beautiful it's beautiful. Look at this, though. Arsenal, once again. Like, I think they just skipped defending this week. They just went inside for some tea and bickies because... Unbelievable. Actually unbelievable. Um, there's no words. There's no words. And we will play out the rest of this match. Why not? Oh, look at this room through the middle. Oh, Rafinha's in. He's in. Oh, just chip him. Just chip him! Oh! I went for the spectacular. I probably should have just done a good old boring finish, but we didn't need to. I thought it was just going to sneak over, but Leno, he dived the right way, to be fair. And we do get a corner. So we're just going to dart this one in from Rafinha towards... Ooh, okay. No, not quite. Oh, beautiful play. Diaz is in now. Surely, surely... We want the goal for Diaz. We want the goal for Diaz. It's 4-0. It's 4-0. That's his second of the game. This is an absolute thrashing. Come on, boys. Let's let's move on while we're hot. Let's move on to that next game against Tottenham. So huge. So huge. Oh, the latest Spurs result isn't in yet. We'll have to wait until the press conference is finished. Oh, yeah, they're going to ask me about Luis Diaz. I was so happy with him today. He really came into his own. It was a brilliant sight to see for all the Leeds United fans out there. That was absolutely undeniable. Of course, he's at Liverpool now, isn't he? But he's going to be outstanding. He's going to be outstanding. I love this boy. I love all my, all, all my, all my players. They're just absolutely fabuloso. Fabuloso. That is the word. Were you surprised how comfortable a victory it was? No way, man. It was Arsenal. Come on, let's be real. And, oh, Spurs. Spurs. You just had to go and win, didn't you? Well, that was just uncalled for, wasn't it? Um, oh, it's all good fun. It's all good fun. I'm just here having a heart attack in the meantime, not knowing what's going to happen. But literally, if we win this next game against Spurs, it's ours. It's ours. Oh, Oh! Oh! Spurs, they only drew their last match. Who was it against? Liverpool. Liverpool, I love you. I love you. Okay, Man City, they must have won their last match. Let's have a look. Yeah, against Villa. <gasps> this is so huge. This is so huge. We need one point now in this next game. And we will not have one the title that's we just need a win okay we need what's the maximum points man city can get they can get 80 so if we get a win two draws because our goal difference that that game did so much for our goal difference the 4-0 thrashing we could <sighs> we just need a win let's stop overcomplicating it let's get into this next match against tottenham 
Hotspur, this is so huge. So huge. Who are Man City playing? That is the question. Who are they playing in this next match? <gasps> I can't even... I can't even breathe at the moment. This is unbelievable. They're playing Burnley. Okay. But then they're playing Arsenal. If Arsenal play anything like they played against us, though, that's, they're going to be a shoo-in for the victory. So, yeah, we'll just get this press conference over and then we'll head in there with our strongest team to the hot Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Oh, okay. Big moment. Big mo moment of the series, probably so far. Here we go, boys and girls. Here we go. It all, everything comes down to this. A win here will secure our status as Premier League champions. The ultimate ambition of this series. So, we must stay focused. We must stay determined. We must show courage because... This is so, so flipping huge. Come on, let's let's just get going. Let's get going. Tangi Undombele. Oh, nicely done. Calvin Phillips. Oh, ball through the middle. Ball through the middle. Oziman gets around his man. Can he finish it off? <gasps> so unusually, he can't. Oh, I would have bet my house on that going in. Victor. How have you missed, mate? You need to let me know. You scored every single other chance you've had this season, literally. We'll cut him a bit of slack, though. Oh, but Tottenham's defence looks very open. That is a positive. Oh, see, men. Oh, he's got a gap to run into. He'll take the shot. <gasps> I thought that was going to be a Calvin Phillips-esque little just bop into that top corner, that top near post corner. Oh, it wasn't far away either. Oliver Skip. Back to Luis Diaz. Furpo out wide. He's going to keep going and he's going to get in across for OC men. Central. He's there. Rodon gets a crucial little something on that. And Rafinha takes it first time and it goes in. What a finish from our star man. Rafinha, another one of the OGs. Number seven on his back. That is such a crucial finish. It's not just crucial. It's absolutely delectable like take a look at this he just takes it on the volley absolutely rams it home unbelievable and um the crowd are getting quite noisy in my ears come on Soler. uh oh harry kane oh oh son makes the shot melee ar 87 a uh, year old no rated star We've got so many stars in this team. That is such a good save as well. That is a really good attempt by Son. But, you know, we have the French stopper in goal. <gasps> Donny van der Beek gets a block in for the team there. This should be half time. Oh my, we're so far over the time limit. Zakaria gets gets the header away and we make it to half time. We've managed to stave off that intense pressure from Tottenham right there. Oh, 45 minutes to go. 45 minutes to go. <sighs> Come on. Let's keep our nerve. Uh-oh. Okay. Soler is in behind. And Didi's there, though. Nicely done. And Junior does really well. We get it in to Diaz. Really nice touch there from Oliver Skip. Over the top now by Van der Beek. To that man, Diaz. Oh, he keeps hold of the ball. That's towards O.C. Men, who buries it into the back of the net. What a volley from our number nine. What would we have done? Where would we be without this man in our team? He has literally obliterated the competition in the goal scoring stakes this season. He's going to win the golden boot for sure. And at the moment, it looks like along with that beautiful boot, he is going to get the Premier League title in his hands in his first season at Leeds United and we owe so much to this man we owe so much to this man unbelievable unbelievable oh this isn't good oh yes Zakaria love that and he gets it out to Rafinha whose touch is unusually heavy that was not good that was not good okay we've got to get back now Soler Harry Kane! Oh, yes! Come on! It's Melier once more who comes to our rescue. An absolute thunderbolt off the boot of Harry Kane there, and he saves it. <sighs> okay, come on, we've got to defend this. 
Get this away. Whatever happens, Diaz. Nicely done. Sergei Milinkovic Savic. Finds. Oh, Emerson. Gelson. Gelson. Oh, what is that? What are you doing? <gasps> oh. Oh, if that goes in, we're under pressure. And he's hit the post. Oh, my. The luck is with us today. The luck is with us today. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, beautiful play. We've just played right around their press. Come on, Calvin Phillips. Finish it off, mate. Finish it off. Oh, it nearly goes in for an own goal. Oh, I think this is the moment where we make our changes now. We're going to have a few tired legs out there. Calvin Phillips felt a bit leggy on that run. Um, but we'll bring Turam on for Oliver Skip because he looks a little bit more tired. We'll bring Conor Gallagher on for Donny van der Beek. And then maybe just Jamie Shackleton for Junior Furpo. That should work. That should work nicely it's 10 minutes now it's 10 minutes that's all come on send it in send it in my son Rafinha get get a third goal <gasps> to Ram. he blasts it over the bar his first touch of the game so nearly a goal this goal scoring DM he's 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 unstoppable arguably one of the best signings I made in this career here we go Luis Diaz he keeps going he keeps going He's just going on a really long run. Oh, okay. He'll just stroll through the middle if you're going to let him. No worries, bruv. No worries. Oh, okay, we'll just make it 3-0. Luis Diaz in for his third goal of the episode. He's been unbelievable just when we've needed him. And that's that. That is that. Guys, we're going to be Premier League champions. How amazing is this? I am so proud of this team and I just I'm in awe I'm in awe I, I bow down to these players because they're absolutely awesome they are absolutely awesome I love them so much I wouldn't change a single thing about this series actually you know maybe I wouldn't have got kicked out of the Champions League but arguably if we'd remained in the Champions League we might have ended up not winning the Premier League and I think winning the Premier League, that has to be one of the, like, the main objective when you start a career like this at Leeds United, because we're going to be back at the top of England, where we belong. We've just given Tottenham the ball back because I've been praising, praising too much, not thinking enough, and that was really good defending there, and come on, Melier, just finish it off, mate. Look how far that kick is. Look at that. There we go. There we go. Unbelievable scenes. Oh, we've just won the Premier League. Oh, my. Look at the boys. They're so happy. I'm so happy. I could literally... Oh, I want to give you guys all a hug. Come on. Come on, we're air hugging. This is... Oh, the scenes. The scenes. Are we going to see the trophy? We're going to see the trophy, aren't we? <gasps> we're going to see the trophy. It's coming. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, this is just too much to take in. This is too much to take in. I have no words. I have no words. I've got a smile on my dial. I'm enjoying life right now. And I'm in love with this team. Hold on. Do we not get to see the trophy? Or maybe that comes up in, in the Man United match. I don't know. Is that a home match? Okay, that was really weird. They were starting to sing Championes, Championes. And then it just suddenly stopped. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Come on, I want to get into this Man United game. So, we can see our players lifting that trophy. So, here we go. Here we go. I think what I'm going to do is we don't need to play this one. It's at home. We're going to... We're going to... Oh, we're not going to quick sim it. Oops, that would have been a disaster. We're going to sim it till like 90 minutes or 80 minutes. Then we're going to jump in and then hopefully see the celebrations at the end. That is the logic behind the madness. Hopefully, I really hope it's not glitched out because I did not press anything. It just didn't show me the trophy. Um, so I'm hoping we're going to get to see it. Honestly, guys, I think this is going to have to be the last episode of the entire Leeds United series. of the Because, like, I love this team so much. I don't know how I'm going to improve them. There we go. As I'm talking, OC Men just sticks it in the back of the net to give us a yet another lead. But yeah, I, 
I don't know, guys, how I'm going to top it. I, I think this is where we just... <laughs> there we go, Moise Keane scores. There, this is just the natural ending point. I'm, it's so beautiful. You know, quit when you're ahead because this is going to be on YouTube forever. You guys can come back and watch it whenever you want. Just for a bit of inspiration because we've taken Leeds United where they belong. Back to the top of England. Officially the best team in England this season. And, I mean, anyone can win the Champions League. It's much harder to win the Premier League, in my opinion, because... Um, it just requires that consistency, whereas Champions League is a lot about luck in terms of the draws you get and, you know, whether you get lucky with a few ref calls or whatever. Uh, and in the knockout stages especially, the Premier League is really where the true teams show their vigour. And that's exactly what we've done. So hopefully we're going to be starting a new career mode pretty soon, but we're not going to talk about that now. We're going to focus on this our beautiful team nearly about to have their hands on that beautiful trophy can we just cap it off though with a win here against rivals manchester united uh oh oh they make it 2-1 oh that's a bit controversial isn't it um <laughs> it doesn't really matter to be honest but Oh, okay, we'll wait till it gets to about 80, then we'll do the old jump in. There we go, okay. Actually, what we'll do, should we make some changes? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think we should just play with our strongest team, because... Um, they're the ones who basically got us this title, so they deserve to be there at that final whistle. Come on, it's going to be a real anti-climax now, isn't it? If we end up not actually getting the trophy. That would be a real proper anti-climax but here we go van der Beek now has a chance to run on the outside he gets the cross in Militao gets it away oh Calvin Phillips can't win it back we don't have much time left now two minutes to try and get the win come on we'll get it up to OC men we're going forwards get this out to Junior nice come on good cross now good cross oh it's towards Militao it's towards Militao, and that's going to be that. But, come on. We've got to get the trophy. Surely. Surely. Yes. Okay, they're celebrating. Are we going to get it? Oh, what's going to happen? I don't know. Come on. Come on. Oh, give me the trophy. Where is it? They're celebrating. They're singing Campiones. Campiones, campiones, way away, away. Come on, let's go. Let's get that trophy. Let's celebrate like there's no tomorrow. And let's just appreciate these boys. There we are. There's the platform. We're about to stand on that platform. Okay, why would you obscure my view? I had the beautiful platform. Now I'm looking at someone's elbow. <gasps> There we go. We're back. We're back. Rafinha there. And Captain Phillips. He's going to lift up the trophy. It just couldn't be more perfect. It literally could not be more perfect. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Way! We've done it. We've won the Premier League. We have beat the competition. We've absolutely stunned everyone. Our fans are partying like it's a Friday night. It's a bit more than a Friday night. It's a Premier League win. It does not get better. And Ellen Road is lit up with all the smiles on the faces of the fans. The confetti is flying everywhere. This is, oh, this is dreamy. This is dreamy. This is what dreams are made of. This is what we set out to do and we've achieved it. And there we go. There we go. Could you have a more absolutely exquisite picture to look at on a Saturday evening? The question does not even need to be answered, does it? There we go. The fireworks during the daytime are very befitting. There we go. That beautiful Premier League trophy lit up with the colours of Leeds United. Leeds United Premier League champions. I love this team so much. So much. So much. Oh, that was so sudden, that ending. But 
We didn't deserve to lose that match, but it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. We take home the title. We take home the history. And we say a very big, hearty thank you to Leeds United. They have given us a whopper of a series this year. Unbelievable scenes. Unbelievable. Let's answer these journos' questions then, just to cap it all off. Do you think the score was a fair reflection of the game? I'm not too bothered about this score, to be honest. I'm bothered about the 37 other scores that got us the title, to be brutally honest with you. So, can you ask me some better questions, please? You must have been... We've just won the Premier League, and you're asking me about a loss that we just had. I mean, please? Oh, a frustrating defeat for you today. And once again, three out of three questions about the loss. I don't have time for this. Get me out of here. We want some positive vibes. We have just done the unthinkable. We've taken Leeds United back where they belong which is what we promised to do and we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get a disgusting amount of money for that in the end city couldn't win their last game they got a draw which leaves us high and mighty on top with a three point gap to our next closest rivals let's just take a look for interest's sake who's going down it's gonna be West Ham, West Ham, I'm so surprised. They're pushing Champions League this year in real life, so to see them in that relegation zone just doesn't look right. But Watford and Bournemouth, you might say you could expect that. Let's take a look at the Golden Boot winner. Of course, I said he absolutely obliterated the competition. I wasn't joking. 37 matches, 28 goals. What a return for Victor Osimhen. He's an absolute... Oh, he's an idol. He is an idol. We love him. He's going to go down in the history of this channel. And Rafinha takes home the uh, the golden, I don't know, the the golden pass. The golden pass because he got the, uh, the, the lead assist in 38 matches, 12 assists. That's like just under a third conversion rate with the assists per match which is not too bad van der Beek comes there in sec in third place as well clean sheets melier wins the golden glove this is just beautiful scenes absolutely beautiful scenes we've just dominated we've absolutely dominated there we go he's right there where we can see him we could probably just look at these things instead so we've got uh, player of the tournament announced. Clean sheet leader, okay. Melier, he got the golden glove. Who's the player of the tournament? Yes, it's Victor Osimhen. Oh, I'm in love with this boy. Without a doubt, this boy has been the best signing I've ever made in any FIFA career mode. Period. Period. That's just how it is. Because he's elevated us from last season when we weren't quite finding the goals he just scores every single match pretty much every single match he never fails to show up and the team of the tournament has been announced well can you show it me that would be nice that's only four players you know you don't have four players in a team do you um oh there you go there you go so lunin like oh he was sick when we when we played against him uh so i'm not surprised he got the the team of the team of the season. I'm surprised Melier actually didn't get that, seeing as he got the golden glove. But whatever. Robertson, Dyer, uh, Dyer and Zakaria at centre back. Those are that's a beastie pairing. Cancelo at right back. Son Heung Min, Calvin Phillips, Van der Beek, Rafinha, Osimhen, Harry Kane. Imagine Osimhen and Harry Kane up top. That would be that would be absolutely fatal for any defence. But yeah, like I say, guys, I think that's going to be it for the series we're gonna say good night on this one and we're gonna move on to a new club i'll give you guys a bit of a hint it might be a bit of a road to glory mm, yeah you'll have to wait and see but i want to just thank you guys so much for being as awesome as you always have been for always you know being there to put that thumbs up on the video so many subscribers have joined the channel over the course of this series this has been a real momentous time in my channel and i'm just so grateful for all of you who are enjoying and just being absolute legends and i guess i would love to just keep keep talking all day but we have to draw this to a close 
at some point. I love you guys, as always. Make sure you keep that notification bell on so you'll see when that new series drops. But until then, I'm going to love you and leave you, and I'm just going to say, never ever forget what we've achieved here at Leeds United. This is one for the history books.